this, my friends, if I can introduce you to the non-unique primary index, the NUPI. Now, the difference between an UPI and a NUPI is if you've got an UPI and try to put a duplicate value in on that primary index, it kicks it out and says, no, no, this is a unique primary index. I've been told to watch this. I'm kicking that out. But on a non-unique primary index, of course you can have duplicate values. As you can see here, we have created a non-unique primary index. It doesn't ever say non-unique. It just says primary index, depth, no. And that means it's a non-unique primary index. Now, this is extremely important that you understand this. Take a look at it. Notice the data layout. It's uneven. It's not going to have perfect distribution. Why? Because Teradata uses a math formula to distribute the data. One math formula. So if you can see, all of the people in department 100 went to AMP1. All of the 300s are together. All the 200s together. All like values, when hashed by the same formula, are going to the same place. So you will get uneven distribution with your non-unique primary index. So why use it? Oh, we'll find out next. You might have had a unique primary index on your table on employee number. But when you ask the user community, what do you query on? They go, we query on department number. What about employee number? Nah, I never use that. I don't know their employee numbers. So that's why you might create a non-unique primary index on DEPNO instead of a unique primary index on employee number. Because here's the real key. When you use the non-unique primary index in the WHERE clause, it's a one amp operation. As you can see here in our query, we're using it in the WHERE clause. Well, all of the rows that were hashed with that value went to the same AMP. So, where a unique primary index is always returning one row, a non-unique primary index might return one or more rows, but they're all on the same AMP, and they actually have been sorted to be grouped together. What a nice design. Oopy, noopy in the WHERE clause, single AMP retrieve, one second every time. We've just done an explain using our non-unique primary index in the WHERE clause. And what's that explain say? Single AMP retrieve by way of a primary index. That's really the key. Imagine a system with thousands of AMPs, and yet only one is contacted by the parsing engine because it laid it out with the math formula. It knows where it's at, and that's really one of the most clever designs about Teradata. Massively parallel processing, but can grab a row or multiple rows in under a second, no matter how large the data is.